Hi, this is Kat Chancellor of Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. Happy Saturday. I am creating a lantern using these wonderful little um, tombstone boxes. And I have a whole, I have a stack of things here. Here they are, tombstone treat, treat boxes. I'm going to show you how to make a lantern. I have them all stacked over here, right here. And um, they come in the front and the back. And what I've done is I've marked mine, the backs, because if you look and you kind of line them up with a front, you can see that the backs are just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit um, smaller. So I've, so just so that I would um, kind of, uh, kind of see how they're just a little bit smaller just so i could be better organized i went ahead and marked them and um the other reason why i did it is because i had already made a mistake and i made two fronts instead of a front and the back so uh, here are here are all my fronts and here, these are all fronts, and I want to kind of keep these separate because we're going to be die cutting these. And I pulled them out of the box when I first got them, and I ended up making a bunch of um, fronts, and I'll show them to you. But now, if I have them organized where I have my fronts and my backs, um, Like here's a back and this back needs to go over here with this one and i'm separating this group because i'm going to go and deliver hand deliver one to my son i'm going to go see my son next week so this is going to be his little jack-o-lantern light lampert lantern and that's why it's not put together yet but i will put one together and put it on my put it on the um on my uh, blog. Okay, so let's go ahead and and, uh, and get started with what you're going to need to do this. You're going to need a front, and I'm just going to leave the back. And you're going to need a die. Now, the die I use to cut these out, and here are my dies. Is I use the dies here out of the tasteful labels and i really like this die right here so that's going to be kind of like the front of our lantern um so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this die here for the, for that now this set is called the beautiful trees dies and this is in the annual catalog and i didn't have the uh the set that's in the mini catalog because I had this die. So I am going to use this die to kind of add the branches for my lantern. That and, and that is one of the things that I love about Stamping Up is that you don't have to buy everything. And, and I am not in a position where I can buy everything. I have to be kind of kind of judicious, uh, you know, judicious about things. And um, I really like this, this tree because I thought I could use it for a winter tree. And then now I'm using it for a Halloween tree. Now this little bat here comes from, so we have the, the sets, tasteful labels, beautiful dyes. This little bat comes from the sparkle of the season. And I like, I like sets that kind of offer you a lot of different options as far as you, they're very seasonal. So we open up this, and in here, I have two of my cards, but it comes with a pumpkin, and then it comes with this neat little star wreath, and then um, Christmas wreath. That's a little witch's broom. Um, and then these little bats, and this happy, this happy Halloween. So we're going to use those. And let me go ahead and grab. And if you watch my other video where I lost my dies, this is where I have to make sure I kind of 
throw my, um, or rather lost my, my photopolymer stamps. I have to throw my stamps on a block. Otherwise I'm going to lose them. Okay. So that's where I got that little, that's where I got that little bat right there. Now the other piece that I'm using is of course, this really neat little skeleton is from the cutest Halloween. So I'm going to put all those right there and you are going to need some of the black glimmer paper. Here's my, my tree that I've already cut out. And this is just in black cardstock, but I'm using black glimmer paper and I have a little piece here and this is what I use to cut out my, my bats. On the back of the glimmer paper, you want to use the all purpose, um, your uh, all purpose, multi purpose adhesive sheets. That way you can go ahead and stick it on your, on your lantern. All right. So I have that and that. I have my tombstone treat boxes. Um, now this gold, it's really a very pretty vellum. It's a gold vellum. I will find it so I can show you where to get it. Okay. Here it is. It is the shimmer vellum and here's the gold vellum. So that's the vellum that I'm going to use for my little, for my little box. I mean, for my, for my shield, my, uh, uh, the window sheet, right? Okay. The vellum is going to be, um, three by two and a half. And then you're going to need some, um, pumpkin, uh, some, uh, pumpkin pie to go ahead and stamp your, your sentiment here, happy Halloween. We're going to need some whisper white because we're going to black use black embossing powder and uh, create our little skeleton. Here's our little bat that we are going to use this die piece here. Um, and we're also using this really nice metallic mesh. And I like to put the metallic mesh right behind, right behind my little uh, skeleton there. And that's it. That's how easy it is. Now, the one last thing when I put this together, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that, I may put a little uh, hole here so I can put a, a ribbon or something, but I haven't figured that part out because I'm just having fun on this wonderful Sunday morning here in northern New Mexico, enjoying the fall as snow falls on Taos Mountain. Okay, so um, before we do any die cutting, so I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White and I'm going to grab my, I have my, my stamps of my skeleton and I'm going to bring in my black and I have an embossing buddy and I'm just going to go ahead and do that. go so and look at that I have a whole bunch of little skulls here that I can go ahead and cut out for my lanterns 
and I have one right here that I'm going to use right now. But let's go ahead and put these aside. And um, let's take our big shot and we're going to go ahead and cut out this this lantern hole. Now, when I fold this, I have my little tea light here. I want my tea light to be right about there. Now my tea light is um, is going to be, yeah, I want it right about there so I can see I can see the tea light. So let me see what the distance is here. It's not, it, it's really about, it's an inch. It's an inch from the bottom of your thing. Okay, so one inch from the bottom. It's kind of perfect for our tea light. Let me grab my, my ruler here. Okay, there's my little mark right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this into my big shot. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't say big shot anymore. I don't know what. I just, you know, I get busy and I just talk and I say, I say dies instead of stamps and stamps instead of dies. So it's all good, but I get, I get excited and just sometimes I misspeak. And usually if it isn't too serious, I won't make a change, but if it is, I usually put a little bubble in my video kind of correcting myself because I don't want to mislead anybody. Okay, so there you go. There, and this is actually kind of a nice little card. I don't know, I have, I'm gonna, just kind of put it aside. It's like a nice little tag. We can use it for something. So don't don't throw that away. All right. Then we're going to put that back. So now what I'm going to do, seeing it, it works perfectly. You put that about an inch like that. It looks looks rather nice. Okay. So now I'm going to take my my yellow vellum, and this is already my sh gold shimmer vellum at three. And we're going to cut this at two and a half. So I'm going to bring in my, my little mini cutter here. I'm going to cut this at two and a half. Okay. And it's got a shiny part and a dull part. You want the shiny part to the outside. And it's going to fit very nicely just like that. Now I'm going to use tear tape because I found that the tear tape works very nicely right along the edge. Look at that, there you go, right along the edge there. And right along the edge there. Okay, there's my glittery side and there's my dull side. I want my glittery side to the outside of my looking out of my box. And there I am, just place that nicely right there. And there is our little screen. So now we're gonna turn this around and I already ran my, my black tree. Um, and you can see it right here. I have the the um, the adhesive sheet, so I'm just going to pull this pull this off. And if I see any pieces, there we go. Now I pulled off this whole tree. What I'm going to do is I am going to place that whole tree instead of just the branches, we're gonna do something different. 
I'm going to place that. right there across and it kind of goes down to the bottom you know i may i may just kind of put that right there no i don't you know if i want to do that maybe i'll just put it back yeah i'm just going to put it back and just let it okay and then i'm just going to spread that onto my window right there All right, now um, I, and this is where I'd say I'm gonna put my little skeleton guy right here, or I can put him at the foot. And I did have some black and in this one I used, and the reason why this one came out like this is because when I, when I, uh, I die cut this, okay. Then I cut the tree in half, but my scissors kind of sliced not much trunk on the other side of my tree. So I had to just kind of use branches. So let's just imagine here, I took, I took my scissors and I tried to cut this in half and I probably should have just put it on, on a cutter and lined it up ni nicely, but I really didn't there, there's really not much trunk here. So I ended up getting um, more trunk on this side, which is what I'm going to, what I used over here. And then with this side, since I didn't have much trunk, I just decided, well, I'm just going to turn those into my branches kind of going along the side. It works well, works fine. Um, you know, it's up to you. So now that I've done that, I have a little piece here with some adhesive on the back and you know I have my my little my little magnetic sheet here. I'm going to run this through my mini die cut machine. Now the other thing that I'm going to do and I'm going to take this out like this I'm just going to zoom back in here so you can kind of see what I'm doing is there it is put that back on my little magnetic sheet um, and I want to put this like that right I'm going to use my basic gray And I am just going to very lightly just put some, so I'm gonna let those dry. But um, did I use stays on? I don't know what I used. Anyway, the point is um, I have my front. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my happy Halloween. And I can just kind of go up this. If I had my stamparatus, I could use that. Not really worried. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of these because I'm going to make a bunch of lanterns. So I'm just kind of doing a little, just a little bit of production stamping here. I'm going to bring in my little mini cutter. And we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to cut that. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pen it. Do a little pen it here like that.
Okay, so that's Happy Halloween. And then I should have my little skull, put my little skull right there. And I'm going to grab a piece of this mesh. I'm going to cut Not about that much. Not a lot, it doesn't have to be a lot. And then I'm going to kind of, as you know, I like to kind of make this look like it's not so um it's gonna look more webby all right so now we're gonna put this like this and i am going to grab some permanent adhesive here And then I'm going to stick this kind of like that, right in the back of my little skull. I'm going to grab a big black dimensional. I'm trying to find it here. There it is. Grab a black dimensional. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this over here. And let's see, where do I want my happy Halloween? Kind of like that to go like that. Let's see. If it goes like that, I can put, there we go. I can put and if I don't, if this is too long, I can shorten my pennant. It doesn't have to be doesn't have to be that long. Just cut a V. Just kind of shorten it a little bit. And then you can always also kind of punch it up. See, kind of make it kind of stand up. and have that kind of hang over like that. How does that look? If I had everything on one side, no, I think it has to go. No, I think I like it over here. Let's see, I'm not sure which, which where I like it. Yeah, I think, I think we can put this one up here. We can put this one here. And then we can just put this one right there. And this is where I can use the mini or what I can do is I can do that. That looks cute. Let me get the permanent adhesive here. Or maybe I will get, I think I will use a mini because it's small and I'm dealing with small places. So I think I'll just get a mini. I'm making this up as I go along. I'm having a great time just kind of playing with this because it's not hard and the fun for me, it's just kind of creating and playing. And... All right, so here we go. Happy. There, happy Halloween. So there is our the front of our box, just like that. Isn't that pretty? So now let's go ahead and fold this up. Let me show you how you fold it because I messed up my first box. And let me show you what my mistakes look like. I messed up my first box and I had to cut out the back. Let me just kind of zoom out. I had to cut out the back, but I just turned it into kind of a neat little uh, tombstone there. And I'll show you what pieces I used. 
And then here's another one. And this was because I made, I cut out two of the fronts before I knew that there was a front and a back. So I couldn't, I thought this was the back, but it wasn't. So, um, you know, note to self, uh, you kind of have to be a little, little careful when you're, when you're working with these. Okay. I'm just going to fold this so I can show you that, that kind of want to fold it. When you fold it, you want to, because when you, um, when you take off this adhesive strip, you want to be able to fold it really nice and tightly right away. What happened to me is because I hadn't like pre-folded all my, all my sides. So this side didn't come in all the way and I ended up kind of doing it on the wrong side. But I messed it up anyway. So you see how I'm just going to kind of bring this in. There we go. Nice and tight. Bring those in. What happened is that this one was still hanging out there and uh, I wasn't expecting it to fold tightly. There you go. Look at that. So now that's our tombstone, but since it's kind of a lantern, um, you can add like a ribbon to it. Let me do the back. Let's see if that works. Yeah, look at that. So now if I put, and I'm, I don't, I'm not going to do that yet, but I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my little tea light here. So let me turn off my lights because I just kind of want want you to see. Look at that. There it is. There's your lantern. And here are some other of the choices you can you can make. Let me show you how I did that. I used the sparkle for the season. This is the die that has little stars on it. So I did that out of the black glimmer paper. And it also has an itty bitty little pumpkin. So I went ahead and I die cut the pumpkin. And after I die cut the pumpkin, I just took a gel pen and I, I drew a little face and I grabbed a little sponge dauber just to kind of give it a little bit more, um, just a little darkened it a little bit. You can kind of see how nice that came out. And then I used a, a gray and I don't know if I used basic gray or, and I stamped off, but I wanted, or gray granite. I just wanted a very light kind of background of the um, the bats. And then of course I have my, my little skull. Now I tell you, this set has, has done a lot of neat things that I've been able to put together, including those bags that I did for the children's hospital. So there is um, another use for this wonderful sparkle of the season. I hope that um, you have enjoyed. Uh, here's another one I did. And let me go ahead. I hope you've enjoyed this, this tutorial on how to make a lantern using the tombstone treat boxes and some wonderful products, some sparkle of the season, cutest Halloween. Uh, we used some dyes from the beautiful tree dyes to come up with our with our very scary tree here. And this is the flat one that I'm taking to California. So you can see that there's the branches on this side and this one was a complete tree on one side kind of standing there, which was kind of nice. So we used the tree the bat that came from the um, sparkle of the season. And then this nice little die, label die, is from the tasteful labels. So just lots of ideas for how to use um, this, uh, this set 
to come up with um, some really neat ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share and leave me a comment. Hey, thanks for joining me. This is Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. Happy stamping.